as communities barrel toward famine, as cholera and measles spread, as violence continues to claim countless lives, the world has largely remained silent. And that must change, and it has to change now. The international community must give more, it must do more, and it has to care more. Uh, with all of the countries who uh, have uh, been identified uh, as uh, possibly fueling uh, this conflict, we have had direct <coughs> conversations uh, with uh, every single one of them uh, to press them to uh, cease their support uh, uh, and fueling of, uh, of, of this war. We've had uh, numerous discussions with uh, uh, countries in the region, and in those discussions with countries in the region, we've encouraged them to encourage other countries like Iran uh, not, to, uh, not to engage. We continue to be concerned about the risk of escalation in the Middle East, uh, something we have been working to mitigate and contain since the attacks of October 7th, uh, and specifically about the threats made in recent days by Iran against the state of Israel and the Israeli people. You saw the president make clear yesterday that we stand in strong support of Israel's security against these threats. Uh, Secretary Blinken has been engaged in diplomacy over the past 24 hours uh, through a series of calls to foreign counterparts, including Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi, and Saudi Foreign Minister Faisal bin Farhan to make clear that escalation is not in anyone's interest and that countries should urge Iran not to escalate. The humanitarian situation in Gaza is dire. Uh, and that is why we are working so hard uh, from the president on down to get more humanitarian assistance in. And it's why we were working to improve deconfliction and coordination so we don't see um, uh, such a high number of civilian casualties that we, as we've seen uh, over the past six months. Further escalation of this conflict um, doesn't just hurt Israel, doesn't just hurt Iran, doesn't just hurt the countries in the region, but that it harms every country in the world. We are deeply concerned about the Malian transition government's decree suspending all political activities until further notice. Freedom of expression and freedom of association are critical to an open society. The transition government has already made a decision not to hold an election in February 2024 to return to a civilian-led democratic government, despite the commitment that it made publicly in 2022 to do so. We call on Mali's transition government to honor its commitments to its citizens and hold free and fair elections. In Mali and elsewhere, democracy remains the best foundation for stability and prosperity.